Hi guys, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires Ice and Fire. Today in this video I'm going to be talking about Hero's Duel. Hero's Duel is part of the Clash of Province mechanics of the game and it runs from Thursday through to Sunday each week. It's quite a fun format in the game. You enter your legions into the tournament and there's no losses. It's kind of like a friendly fight. You fight against players from your own state to then represent the state against the other state that you're fighting that week. And then you play on Friday, Saturday, Sundays to find out who the winner is. So to get us started, let's see how we enter Heroes Duel. So you click on events. And then down at the bottom here, you're going to see on a Monday that this is going to come up, Heroes Duel. And you have between Monday to Wednesday to sign up. So on the first page here, you've got the arena page, and this week's so us in State 55. We're against State 65 in Clash of Province this week. And it's going to show you your schedule, so we still need to sign up at the moment and set up the three legions that fight in Heroes Duel. It's just the three legions. And you can recap from the previous time that you fought. So two weeks ago, in the third week of our previous round of Clash of Province, we were up against a very difficult state for us, State 37. They had X heroes, um, and the, some of their players had maxed out meta X hero combinations in their legions. So, uh, unfortunately, us with our S4 heroes, we weren't a, a match for them on that occasion. So, let's get signed up then. So, you can click on sign up here, it will take you to the My Schedule page. Here you're going to have access to tweak your three rounds, your three legions that you're using. So it's going to show how your legions class, legion one, legion two are set up uh, in your main area as it is. But you don't have to worry any, as I say, any changes you make here don't affect your core legions that are already in use. So it'll allow you to change the order. It'll allow you to change the gear on each legion. And obviously, as usual, you can change your heroes as well. One thing is the in Heroes Duel, they automatically adjust your legions so that you do have the max march adjusted. And one tip to remember is that if you've unlocked enhanced troops, then you should put enhanced troops on each row in that legion. Again, you're not gonna, there's no losses here, it's it's a friendly fight. Up here in the left hand side, as it says, all formations will use the highest level of training ground unit count. All formations will utilize 100% of the legion technology. The number of participating units will be max. Siege attributes are not effective, and the battle will not cause any losses. Now, for me, I am going to stick with my combinations as they are. Um, so my first round is my class legion. Uh, I've got all gold gear, cavalry gold gear for that one. Second, I will also run with cavalry in this legion again. Um, I've got my cab gold gear on there. And again, I'm just going to want to change over my units to the enhanced cavalry. And then for round three, I'm going to pop in my footmen. And I, that's because I've got full gold T9 footmen with gold gear. Um, obviously, if you've only got one T9, it's probably best to stick with that. But it really depends on... Um, how developed your heroes are, whether you've got lucky and you've got a max season hero. Uh, the idea is that you can test out your strongest combinations. And if we click on the, so then basically all of my legions are ready, go, ready to go for this week. So I just click sign up and I'm all ready for the duel on Thursday. If you want to change anything, you can come back and do something, change anything around and then confirm the change. We just click on the information icon in the top right hand corner here. So it does give you, uh, this is one information screen on the game that actually gives you a decent amount of information. 
So um, just to go for it, the Champions Duel is on and only the strong can survive. Basic rules, sign up Monday to Wednesday. Battle will not result in loss and units regularly, regular uses will not be affected. So um, it won't affect any stamina, for instance. Uh, the stages are province-wide. So there's going to be, you've got the initial in-state championship and the top four will then join the championship stage. So on Thursdays, the competition starts and it's 10 rounds on a Thursday for the interstate part of the competition. And it's 10 rounds every hour for the first 10 hours of the game day. Um, if you lose three times, then you are out of the competition. Um, if you make it through to the all 10 rounds, then it will be the players who um, have the best win-loss ratio. And if there are players that have the same win-loss ratio, then it will be the players that have the more points will be ranked higher. Um, this is Thursday mornings, always really fun. Um, you can basically come up again, initially in the first few rounds of the duel, you can come up against anyone that's entered. So even your own uh, players from your same alliance. And it's quite fun to come up against them and, and uh, see who's currently on top in terms of their hero strength and, and legion development. Um, it's not the same four players that make the last four each week, um, generally, uh, because there will be a, a bit of variance in their in their match schedules and two, two heavy hitters might come up against each other. Um, and it, it is a good gauge for you to see how you're developing. So even if um, you know, you're know you still a smaller account with T7 or T8 troops, um, definitely join into Heroes Duel each week um, so you can kind of track your development against everyone else. Um, apart from anything else, if we just come down here, so in terms of the rewards, um, even if you just take part in the duel, you will get, you will get some rewards. So, um, if you lose, you still get five courage medals and you get two 5,000 hero XP. If you win, um, you get 10 courage medals and two times 20,000 hero XP. Um, if you get into the top eight, then again, you're getting courage medals 300, wisdom medals 100, three times 100,000 EXP and a bit of RSS. All the way up to champion who's going to get 2,000 courage medals, 500 wisdom medals, four lots of 500,000 hero XP, and then you're going to get 4.75 million in resources. So there are some really good rewards from this, and even if you don't get that far, you're still going to get something for basically choosing some legions and clicking a button between Monday and Wednesday. If you do get through to the finals, um, then, as I say, it's first, it's a top four semi final and final um, that are played on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday starting at noon. Um, those ones have multiple rounds of battles, uh, three rounds in, uh, it's the first of three rounds uh, for the final four and semi final, and then it's uh, best of five, uh, first of five in the final, as you can see from our recap here. So if you do get through to the finals, it's a bit of a time commitment for you. If you're going to be representing your state, you need to be available because you'll be able to make changes in between the rounds um, if you reach these final stages on the, on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. One other thing to bear in mind in, is that the Heroes Duel does contribute towards your Clash of Province competition. So um, whoever wins, whichever player from the state wins. So if we won on Sunday, uh, then that's going to add another two points to our Clash of Province score for the week. Um, so that can be quite key in certain instances when you're in a close match. So um, depending on what your strategy is for Clash of Province for that week, uh, Heroes Duel can be really key to the success of your state. So that's Hero, Heroes Jewel, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe, ring the bell, make any comments you have, and share. And uh, I will see you all again soon. But for now, that's it. Thanks.